we about to move on to this Cardi B and Tasha K situation. Chat, the last video I did about Tasha K and Cardi B. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember what had happened? That Tasha K had lost her final uh, plea. Cardi B had won summary judgment against Tasha K, and it was now um, judged, a judge adjudicated, or whatever word I'm trying to think of, that Cardi B can now uh, resume her collection efforts. Y'all remember that? Well, <sighs> Tasha K went on live last night to her millions of followers, where her a million followers, and basically, you know, broke down and cried and said that, you know, since she saw that Cardi B was online, you know, saying certain things, being upset, talking about she wanted to off herself and pow pow and all this other stuff, that you know, it 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 triggered uh, Tosh K into coming on live and basically saying, you know. I love you, Cardi. <laughs> Please, Cardi. You, ha you have a mission, Cardi. How can I be a better woman if you're not here, Cardi? You need to stay around, Cardi, so that I can pay. So she, you know, went on live and told the people of her situation of what had happened in her past with her mother, which was heartbreaking, I must say. She shed some tears. And, you know, she, she came and said that, you know, she felt that situation brought her to a real realization that she wanted to text or or dm cardi b and let her know how she felt what y'all saying in the chat you said the lies the lies the lies you said you could not tolerate the fakeness the touch k says she has reached out to cardi b with words of encouragement after cardi b got into a twitter spat with with trolls and talked about you know ending her okay so let's listen and see what she said this is what i said to her and I would say this to the winos, put, please put your shit to the side because you don't understand. We got more mass shootings by kids. Kids are being influenced by these caricatures online. And I know that Cardi understands that a lot of the brand was a caricature, but who she is is not that. That's not the woman that parents her children. That caricature of a brand that that she's that she has is not the woman that 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 parents those kids. You can tell a lot about a person by how they parent their kids. I'm still listening. I asked her and I sent her those messages. It was three because I said I started this platform to keep people out of depression, and I misused it a lot. I hit her today. This is what I said to her. I said this to her. I said, just in case you want to see, this is it. I said, I said, hey, Cardi, if you put a bullet in your head, who is going to teach me to be a better person? I said, please, please stop posting stuff like this. I'm going to pay you. I said, FYI. I just can't afford the four million. I said, who, if you put a bullet in your head, Cardi, who the fuck is going to teach me to be a better person? I said, please stop posting stuff like this. I said, I'm going to, I'm going to pay you. I just can't afford the four million. I don't have it. I know I look like I got it, but I don't have it. And your lawyers can dig and dig and dig and dig until they dig through the earth's crust. Please, we welcome that. But please know that that is not on me. That's not on my expense. I don't pay for that. You do. And I don't know if they told you that. Okay. And I also said too many kids love you to be reading stuff like this that you posting. I said, but believe it or not. Bell, Bell Calise, and I really had to put my ego aside to say this. I said, believe it or not, too many kids love you to be reading stuff like this, and believe it or not, I said, Cardi, I love you. That was the hardest thing for me to say to her, but it's true. I said, for leveling me up mentally, 
and teaching me how to not misuse the gift that God gave me that people thank me for. And I said, now see you in court. Uh, Cardi B actually saw that live and had something to say about My it. Hold on, hold on. Always tell me this. They say that I am the toughest, weakest bitch. <laughs> But my heart is very big. And I'm not gonna make decisions right away about things. I'm I'm not gonna make decisions right away because I got burnt so many times in life. I don't wanna talk to my friends because my friends are looking at me like, bitch, don't you fucking ever. I'm not gonna talk to my husband because my husband is calling me a pussy. And I'm not going to talk to my fans because I know the chat don't play about me. But I'm going to talk to my mom. I'm going to talk to my mom tomorrow. Okay. Because- so, you know, everybody's been talking about it. It says Cardi B hints at, hints at feeling sympathetic for someone amid Tasha K's encouragement. She says, uh, she says she knows her friends and family will be upset with her over it. Okay. So here it is. She tweeted this and said, okay, everybody calm down. Next topic. Okay. The lawyers is handling it. Uh, I don't know. Listen, she not already won a lawsuit. It's just up to her to decide, you know, not, not up to her, but the attorneys, the forensic attorneys, everybody is trying to get, you know, the money that's owed from the lawsuit. The damn legal fees is coming from the lawsuit. It's a mess, child. And I can understand. I, my heart goes out to everybody involved. I told y'all before. That it's a mess now. When uh uh now 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 wait a minute, not two two three was in my DMs earlier <laughs> and said that uh I'm being blamed for <laughs> wait, hold on, where'd it go? That I was being blamed for um uh uh Tasha K said something about lovely tea and Michelle, all these people who had platforms before me. Should have talked. Wait a minute. Let me go to this. Shout out to Couture Bay. Let's see what this. Let's see what's going on, honey. Uh, they're gonna not two two three in the chat. Child. How I get in it now? Why I'm in it? Yeah. Hold on. There it is. Shout out to Couture Bay, and she had a special guest, which was uh Tasha K today. Okay. So let's see what Couture Bay and Tasha K saying hold on buried in a church so no oh, no so storm about... i already reached out okay so uh michelle atl and i reached out because the thing about it is like a lot of these people like michelle uh who else <laughs> feed from gossip in the city mm-hmm. um you know I, i've been following the blogs before i started blogging like it's 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 what i love you know lovely tea you know, and, um, you know, when you in the mess, like when you in it and you got you got pressure from all sides and the fan bases is that is that odds like you start to defend that I was defending myself like in defensive mode and it didn't come out like I was defending myself. But it was a lot of insecurities that was put on display about me and I had to defend that. And these people. You know, like AT Alien and Lovely T. I've been doing this way longer than me. Mm-hmm. It didn't offer me no type of advice on what to do. Do you feel like? Do you feel like that's Wait why? Wait a minute. Now, what the hell did I just hear? Did she say people like AT Alien and Lovely T didn't offer her no advice? Didn't. She asked Junkie Dineva and he told her to just hide the money like he was hiding the money. Did she call me on the phone? Did she slide in my DMs? Did she ask me, was I supposed to reach out to her after she had been dragging me for years on her platform? Now, Tasha, come on. I appreciate the shot and I appreciate you saying that I'm the GOAT. I appreciate the apology. I listen, I really wanted you to keep the Junkie Dineva video up because it proves what everybody said about him that he is a misogynistic piece of shit. But while he was praying for your downfall, you thought he was your friend when he don't even like black women. He saw how your platform was exceeding his, was surpassing his. Those are his words, not mine. 
and told you wrong information on what to do. He told you that you should tear up the cease and desist. Y'all remember I pulled those receipts? I, when I first started talking to Funky, mm-hmm. I started alone. I was like, this was going on. She he was, was talking like, about her legal walls. Yes. <laughs> Funky girl. was like, I've listen, I've been in this I done been there. That. This how you navigate that shit. It's going to drop. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's exactly. He gave me the courage. I'm telling you, to cuss a bitch out over a lawsuit. Okay. Uh-huh. Damn, but cease listen. and desist. So what? Do you- exactly. I get in it. He sat there right in front of you and Storm around. And so now all of a sudden you saying that me and Lovely T and all these other people should have come to your aid and told you what to do in the midst of this lawsuit. Chad, that was. That, you asked the wrong people. You burned the wrong bridges. Now it's like all of a sudden she wants this kumbaya moment with all the women. All these black women need to hold hands and kumbaya. Like, listen, I'm not praying for your downfall. I, I listen. I gave you props for standing strong in the midst of the fire, but I am not your savior. Why is it always the black women got to come save the people? I am not Tosh K savior. Now listen, I already know. That whatever happens in entertainment, in sports, in in media, you know, it's always you know the old heads got to move out the way for the new heads, and I get it. She's a new, she was a newbie coming up, you know. Me, Sandra Rose, Fresh Alina, Nicole, bitchy, whoever, whoever, whoever was here, and now all of a sudden it's the neighborhood talk, the shade room, the Tosh K's, da 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 da. I understand that. But y'all ain't ask us for our opinion. Everything, the landscape has changed. Just like we had to pave the way. We had to figure this shit out on our own. So do you. Nobody was here for me when Chris Stokes was suing me. I had to get an attorney and, um, you know, get legal advice and figure that shit out. I didn't go to another blogger and say, damn, how should I handle this? Because they don't know. Because they ain't been through it. So, yes, uh, Tosh K, I, you know, I'm not your friend. I wasn't your friend then. I'm just saying I ain't never met you. We ain't never had no conversations. So, I mean, if anybody think we up here kikiing and ha-ha in the DMs, that ain't it. She reached out to me one time. Well, she didn't even reach out. She posted a tweet or an Instagram saying, you know, she apologized. She see me this and that. I ain't heard from her. I ain't, you know, so she's welcome to reach out. She's welcome to come online. She's welcome to talk to me. She's welcome to come in my Patreon. I get all kinds of advice on the Patreon. So I don't even know what to say. I'm just amazed. But on that note, uh, it's interesting that, you know, she, she, she put a one in the chat if y'all think she's sincere. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just know, you know, she shed a few tears for the situation that happened with her mom. Uh, and you know, she said she felt the ways about Cardi B saying that she would hurt herself. So hey, y'all tell me, y'all tell me, y'all tell me, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know what to think. Uh, somebody need to put me on a plate and stop me up with a bit. <laughs> Not stop me up with a biscuit, honey. <laughs> Y'all, it's funny. You said two for the lies. I don't even remember what question I asked. Y'all know I be, I'm forgetful. <laughs> Y'all know I'm forgetful. But yeah, listen, I ain't mad at her. Listen, if I had $4 million worth of, worth of pressure on my back, I would, I would listen. I would go on live and talk to y'all too. And Cardi B said um, in the longer uh, Twitter spaces, she, she mentioned something about she she didn't think that that Tasha K well she didn't say her name but she didn't think that the blogger lady had anyone to talk to because you know how is it that you come on live for an hour and say this it's performative I'm sorry it is as a blogger anything we do online it is carefully curated we don't put this shit out just for chance for happenstance you know she got a million followers you don't think she got that by strategy. <laughs> And, you know, I appreciate, you know, seeing it and seeing it all go down and seeing her go from platform to platform and seeing her form her own narrative and seeing her like, I'm, I am intrigued. I just want to get my popcorn and, you know, sit back and watch and see how it goes down. Is this going to work? Is she really going to get t- uh, Cardi B to forgive this debt? I just want to see because if she does, then, hey. She deserves it all, child. She deserves it all. She deserves to be to be uh the blog goddess. 
the 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 what is it? What she said? She's not a blogger though, you know. So I don't think she can spell well enough to be a blogger. But you know, she's what what is that? Okay, she's a a, a a internet journalist, a media. I don't I don't know, but we all do similar things, you know. We all listen. One thing I can say about Tosh K and anybody else on this internet, okay, we have formed our, we we built our own platforms. We have made jobs and opportunities for people. We 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 built a lives that you know other people could probably never dream of. And so I respect anybody who can start from zero because we all started from zero. If you can get that and get in front of people and get people to listen to you and hear you and support you, then you know you got a gift. But the thing is. If she had been watching me, if she was a fan of AT Alien, all y'all in here know I have always said Tash K needs to stop lying. <laughs> That's what they Tash K needs to stop lying. She needs to stop lying on people. She lied on me. She allowed somebody else to get on her platform and lie about me. She she let TS Man Hands get on her platform and lie about me. She let Junkie Daniva get on her platform and lie. Like she she wasn't truthful. She was a great storyteller. But, you know, running with stories that you know aren't true isn't how you build a platform. I don't know. But anyway, y'all know I like truth. I, I I like truth. And people get mad at you for telling the truth. People don't really, you know, people will still fuck with you for lying because <laughs> they know it's a lie. They're like, oh, shit, that lie was funny as hell. But when it's the truth, they get up, they get upset. But, you know, there's that. Um, like this video, please, and thank you. I appreciate everyone in here. Y'all let me know. You said, see, you did give her advice. I did. I don't think she gotta do is watch me. I just said lots of things over the years. I'm just saying, I tell people all the time, all you have to do is be genuine. And now I guess maybe she's trying to be her authentic self. Um, I'm sure she moved different. You moved different after a lawsuit. I told y'all after Chris <laughs> after Chris Stokes sued me. Yeah, and and then kept coming after me over and over and over again about that Rasby situation, child, that I had nothing to do with. I was just blogging about it, and I didn't lie. Okay, that's the key. I didn't lie on him. I just regurgitated what Rasby said and show Rasby. But I guess she feel the same way. She might feel like she didn't lie because she just regurgitated what Star Marie said. See, is that what happened? But she just kept saying it over and over and over again. And Cardi B told her it was. I don't know. We may be in the same boat, but you know, I'm just saying. Uh, but I still believe that mm, Chris Stokes and Rasby, anyway, I don't want to get in trouble again. <laughs> exactly, Black Chair. I don't want to get in trouble again. I still believe Rasb. I'm sorry. I still believe it. Rasb ain't lied on them people. Okay. Um, hit that like button if you are enjoying this stream. Now, I would love to hear from you guys. Okay, like this video, like this video, like this video. Um, what do y'all think about this situation? You think uh, Tosh K is playing? You think she is a, a, an Academy nominated actress? She gonna start being in Tubi movies now? Or do you think she is genuine? Do you think Cardi B is going to forgive her debts? Do you think Cardi B is uh, going to walk away after all these years of fighting? I know it's got to be stressful on both of them. I know. I'm, I'm just saying this lawsuit stuff is crazy. What do you think uh, would be the right proper resolution? I don't know. What should happen? Uh, they saying Cardi B don't need the money. She should let it go. But then again, doing this for years and you got this person who has done so much to you. Sometimes you just can't let it go. You got to see it through the end. Trust me. I know. So. Yeah.